How's it going guys? This is Don from Pronatech. Today I want to show you uh, how I built a quick change mount for my Milwaukee deep cut porta band saw so that I can convert it and use it for a stand up band saw in my shop. I've always wanted one of these saws ever since I saw the first uh, swag off-road uh, stand that they put them on. Um, and I finally found one for a reasonable price used here uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, but my problem is, is that I never want to lock this thing down on a bench mount because most of those you have to bolt down. And which if you have, you know, a couple of these, it's probably not a big, you know, big deal. But for me, um, whenever I get long steel or long aluminum that I bring in on my trailer, for use in my shop, I like to cut it down to size so it will fit in my garage. I don't have room for 20 foot sticks of steel or aluminum. So it's really handy to have a porta band uh, so you can you know, slice that stuff down to size, down to 10 foot or 8 foot sections so you can fit it in your garage. Well, I want to be able to use that quickly to do that. And for me, uh, the, the bolt on stands that they make commercially just don't work. So what I wanted to do was make a mount that was simple to make. Um, I made this uh, in about an hour with some just scrap metal that I had in the shop. Uh, the only thing that's um, out of the ordinary with it is I did have a um, little cam lock clamp that came off of one of my kids old uh, scooters, a Razor scooter. And this is just the one for the neck for adjusting the height of the neck. So you can buy a, a cam lock mount or clamp on Amazon or eBay and it's a great way to make it a quick change uh, platen for this type of saw. So I'll show you what I did and uh, I'll show you how I made it and uh, how quick it is to use. All right. all right, you can see how simple this is to use. Uh, all it is is some inch and a half square aluminum tubing that I had and all it is is basically I made a Y and if you look at the base all I did is weld on two tabs on the side of aluminum just to cradle uh, the handle and the top is just uh, two angled pieces at a 28 degree angle and I welded those to one flat plate on the bottom. Um, on the top you can see that all I did is make a uh, three-quarter inch hole and then I tapered out kind of like a duck's bill uh, on either side so that as it slides down in there it gets tighter. You can see I did it on both sides and all I have is two wood screws screwed in uh, to a stud to hold it in place. It's very simple. Literally this took me less than an hour to make. Alright so here's a quick clip of me just doing the final weld on the uh, aluminum mount. All right, so here is the schematic for the uh, wall mount for the bandsaw. Uh, gives you all the dimensions I think that you need. Obviously up on the side there um, is the tapered notch where the handle goes into. I'm showing the inside view of it. Uh, hopefully you can get that from looking at the pictures too. So. Uh, I'm going to post up a link to this on the uh, Google Docs site so you can download this if you want and uh, I'll also put one for this for the table and uh, if you have any questions or something you didn't understand please just put a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll answer it and let you know exactly how I built it. 
All right, I'm going to show you how quick and easy uh, this is to use. Uh, it's one of the reasons I built it the way it is, and it's because I want to be able to do this fast. So I've got my saw in the case. I'm just going to put it up here, and I'll put it together. And I'll show you. It's just a few seconds. All right, here we go. That's it. Just as fast, I've got it all set up and I'm ready to cut. Uh, the only thing I'm using right now for a uh, speed control is I've got a little Velcro strap. I just leave it on the saw, I slide it down when I'm not uh, using it for a uh, porta band. When I'm using it for this, I just push the button and it would help if I plugged it in. Then I just push the button. And just that quick and easy, I can convert it to a wall-mounted uh, porta band or a bandsaw. Uh, I really love this thing. I didn't think uh, how handy it was going to really be. I knew I'd use it for a lot of little projects, but um, I used to have a Harbor Freight 4 inch by 6 inch uh, vertical horizontal bandsaw. And it was a great unit. I used it for years, but when I got my um, cold saw, uh, it kind of just sat in the corner and I've tried to use it as an upright bandsaw but the platen was so small on it and the blade guides were mediocre at best. It just didn't um, cut well and this thing outperforms it by 20 times. Um, I've been cutting out all my small parts and it's nice if you just want to cut a notch in something or just trim off the end of a small piece. I don't have to get out my chop saw and uh, hook everything up. I can just walk over, zip this out, and if I need this out in the yard for uh, cutting up some big long pieces, I just pull it out of the mount, pull off the platen, go out and cut my steel, come back and put it back on. Or if I need to go portable, I can just put it in my box and take it wherever I want to go. So that's the reason I really like this thing. Um, I've been using it like crazy for the last two weeks since I built this. Um, I'll put up a schematic of the dimensions for this so that you can see just uh, what parts you need. I know a lot of you are going to say, listen, I don't have the ability to weld aluminum. Not a big deal. You can make this exact same thing out of steel. Um, it's really no, no difference. I just happened to do it out of aluminum because I had some inch and a half aluminum tubing and I've been teaching myself for the last year how to weld aluminum, so I need the practice. So I'm finding ways to make projects out of aluminum lately so that I can practice more. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you uh, uh, build one for yourself. It's a, uh, it's a great way to save space. I didn't really have room in my garage here for a great big bandsaw. Um, and this is something that I can use for dual purpose. If, uh, if you got something out of this, great. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos of projects I'm building. I've got a whole bunch more coming along. So hit the bell if you want to get notified when they come out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching. See you guys.